the first country to regulate cryptocurrency is preparing a broad crackdown. Estonia, which rode the initial wave of the digital currency revolution half a decade ago, is cracking down on the burgeoning industry, serving as a cautionary tale for would-be crypto hubs. With the Council of Europe slated to conduct a critical review of its anti-money laundering enforcement policies early next year, the government of the Baltic nation is considering tightening oversight of what has grown into a popular European center for digital coin trading and associated infrastructure. We are going to strengthen our supervision and our approach to market entry, Mattis Maker, director of Estonia's Financial Intelligence Unit, said in an interview. Because we were the first country to regulate them, we provided a pathway for them to obtain a license, he explained. The FIU is a non-governmental organization affiliated with the finance ministry that has the authority to grant and revoke cryptocurrency licenses as part of its primary mission of combating money laundering. This is a critical issue for the Eurozones and NATO's 1.3 million members. The country is attempting to recover from a massive money laundering scandal that engulfed Dansk Bank's Estonian subsidiary in 2018 and involved the handling of 200 billion euros, 232 billion dollars, in suspicious transactions. Since then, authorities have revoked approximately 2,000 licenses for cryptocurrency exchanges and wallets, and the Estonian government is now considering new legislation to tighten overall oversight. This includes requirements for audited annual reports, increased capital levels, and transaction volume-based due diligence thresholds. Shattered Shitcoins Governments worldwide are debating how to regulate digital assets. While China has prohibited cryptocurrency transactions, El Salvador has designated bitcoins as legal tender. In April, Attitudes in Estonia deteriorated further when the country's security services launched an investigation into a company called Shitcoins.club. The firm, whose ATMs convert clients' physical banknotes into anonymous digital coins, was identified as a security risk, and the FIU revoked its license, which was held by a company called Virtual Planet. While the cryptocurrency businesses are registered in Estonia, their clientele is global. The United States, Venezuela, Russia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Brazil, and India are the sector's top customers, the FIU reported earlier this year. The firm's process transactions worth more than 40% of the Estonian banking sector's cross-border payments, or more than 20 billion euros, Maker told the Yesti Express newspaper in a separate interview. According to a 2020 study, only 10% of crypto service providers licensed in Estonia had bank accounts in the country. Around 40% banked with Lithuanian institutions and 20% with lenders in the United Kingdom. According to FIU Chiefmaker, had Estonian authorities anticipated the risks associated with cryptocurrency companies in 2017, they would not have permitted such explosive growth. Without a doubt, the decision would have been different, he explained to Bloomberg. We are learning, but I want to emphasize that the entire world is learning as well. We hope you enjoyed watching and listening to this video, please let us know your opinion in the comments area below. If you found our content useful, please like it and share it with your friends. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for more crypto-related contents.